Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kiran Mai and this is part 3 of my kitchen tour where I'll be speaking about how I have organized all my kitchen cabinets. I'd first like to speak about the overhead storage. I have five doors, which is basically two and a half cabinets of overhead storage. Uh, the first cupboard is a single door cupboard and this is where I keep all our coffee supplies. The cups, the mugs, coffee making utensils like the filter, the mocha pot and also extra coffee powders. In the bottommost shelf, I have used uh, most of the regularly used mugs and I've also used these white shelves that give a height and allow us to use two levels of the space and these are from Ikea. On the next ledge I have done a small DIY where I drilled in five holes and uh, I've screwed in these little hooks so that I can hang cups along this to free up the space at the bottom. That allows me to store some of the other glasses. On top I'm using this Ikea basket which uh, is quite hard so that when I'm taking something from the top and it which is heavy uh, this basket doesn't buckle or change shape so I really thought it was a good investment and um, I also labeled it saying coffees because so that everybody in the house knows that this is where you will find the reserve coffee powders or the other coffee accessories that we have. Moving on is uh, the next shelf which is my main shelf where most of my cereals and and pulses and most of the kitchen cooking ingredients are kept here. So again here I've done a little shuffling, try to find the right height of these ledges so that I utilize 100% of the space and make sure everything is accessible and visible in one glance. So as you can see here I've used a combination of glass jars and plastic transparent tall and narrow jars and both are from IKEA. The middle section is where I keep the slightly shorter glass jars and also some of the other Tupperware boxes which fit right here. They make sure that I'm able to utilize the entire cabinet space till the top. In one glance look at all of the ingredients that are there inside and I can make my shopping very easy when I know and when I can assess easily how much I have at home. I feel the doors are such an underutilized space inside a cabinet. For this particular cabinet I've used these uh, stick-on command hooks to hang my slightly lightweight saucepan the sticker portion is transparent and the hook is flexible so uh, I really like these and they're uh, holding up the weight of these uh, utensils quite well and I measured it up so that it doesn't come in the way of the door uh, closing and I feel like that itself saves so much space and vertically hanging them also ensures that they're dry and clean all the time moving on is the cornermost cupboard where uh, I keep most of my cooking utensils this is a uh, fairly an unpopular way of storing things I noticed because usually we're used to keeping cooking cooking utensils in the bottom containers but I thought why not in the top ones especially the cornermost shelf which is not very accessible for food ingredients I find this such a better way of storing and I can literally see my utensils and grab them with one hand it, on one hand is this cast iron shelf which I got a long time ago from Amazon on the other hand is this actual plate rack which is originally meant for storing plates but I use this to store kadhais because it just fits perfectly for my kadhais. On top I have these two mesh baskets which uh, just go right in and they do not come in the way of the closing of the door. So here is where I keep some of the smaller pans and some miscellaneous stuff which I need uh, for a quick grab and go. On top I've kept three more of those IKEA baskets and I've also named them so that I know exactly which basket has what. The things that are not very often utilized but if we really want them then we can always just pull the basket very easily and access it so I think this is very a clean way of storing it and also make it, uh, utilizing 100% of the cupboard space again there are doors here so I've made sure to utilize both the doors for storing the lids for that I've again used command hooks on the attached at an angle if you think that how can this one cupboard be enough to store all of the kitchen cooking ingredients then you're right I have another very uh, utilitarian uh, cabinet where I store most of the kitchen stuff. So this is a tall unit that I did spend quite a lot of money from the modular kitchen guys. Uh, I think it's completely worth it because of the amount of storage I get from this one unit and also the fact that it is accessible because of this uh, hinged drawer system. So once you open it there are multiple levels uh, 
uh, of these trays and they hold quite a lot of stuff. On the topmost racks, I have kept some of the uh, Tupperware boxes. Uh, I've also used one of these Lazy Susans, which I again found on Amazon to access the uh, topmost jars in an easy manner. These jars are from Chumbak and they hold some of our snacks. Below that is um, some more Tupperware boxes which are also narrow and deep and they fit right into the tray and uh, some glass jars. Next level I have just shorter glass jars that try and uh, keep them uniform and we try to remove the labels and clean them and keep them so that uh, they're pleasing to the eye and it's not very cluttering. Uh, the next three rows I keep um, some of the heavy utensils and the things that we don't use very often like the big cookers or the extra rice cooker or my cast iron kadhai and things like that. Uh, along the door side are again uh, a lot of other shelves that uh, that I use to store the smaller uh, ingredients like spices or honey, peanut butter and just miscellaneous, miscellaneous pickles, miscellaneous. I've left the bottom two trays empty for now because my daughter is beginning to crawl and she's pulling the things at the lower lowest levels so as you can see uh, the a good utilization of space actually leaves me with with more space to spare and I think that's always a good thing moving on to the cabinets that are under the kitchen counter uh, I'll start off with the side uh, where we have the hob and the chimney. Just under the hob is the drawer that houses all my major cutlery. Uh, before I arrange these, I also made sure to get rid of all the extra stuff. I've also gone a little extra mile and tried to label them when during the lockdown I was just like uh, organizing my kitchen. And this helps, uh, helps it because my kitchen is always not used just by me but there's also my domestic help or my mother coming in and cooking. So so uh, they also know where to store uh, my, my kitchen utensils the way I want them to. Below that is another shallow uh, drawer where we keep uh, most of the katoris, our regularly used steel plates, the smaller steel plates and the bowls that we use for breakfast and just simple uh, curries. The things that we use very often are kept here because of accessibility. Under that is a deep drawer and I use this to store um, the, the grains that we use, mainly that is rice and atta, the two staple things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. On the other side, I've also stored all my glass containers which I got from IKEA which come with wooden lids and some of the other steel boxes and in order to make sure that these containers are stored vertically so that they're visible also so that they don't retain any moisture and like kept nice and dry I found these uh, plate stands from IKEA which come with this zigzag cross um, you know like a scissor uh, mechanism which uh, adjusts to the right uh, size so again this is like a great find because it fits right into my drawer uh, coming to the bottle pullouts i am a right hander so on the right side i keep all my oils and the commonly used spices the bottom container has regularly used oil supply we use uh, cold pressed uh, or the kachi gani uh, tail which is like uh, you know from the middle i think this is a, a very healthy option in comparison to the refined oils that come in the market in the supermarkets on top is uh, some of the commonly used spices like uh, jeera garam masala coriander powder etc and because they're at a lower height i've uh, labeled the jars on top on the other side which is the less often used bottle pull out are my uh, spices the usual spices that we use in things like biryanis or heavy curries and these spice bottles i think i purchased them from uh, Amazon but they're also available in IKEA and the good thing about them which I recently discovered is that they have a flat surface along the curve of the bottle which allows you to store the bottle at an inclined uh, level that makes the glass part visible and you can exactly see what is there without like lifting the bottle and checking what's uh, bottom level are some more IKEA uh, containers with gaskets and these are again glass on top so they're visible and I store some more spices and miscellaneous stuff. These little glass bottles with a cork on top are something I think my mother got from Dubai but I think similar stuff is available on Amazon you can just check it out. Moving on uh, is the wall where I have the sink and this is the part where the kitchen kind of for 
curves and hence I have two corners and the corner parts of the cabinets are the ones which are dead spaces and you can you utilize them the least and during my research for the kitchen I did find very effective very good corner uh, units they're called magic corners or something like that and they're like drawers that come out and pull in all sorts of shape to utilize the entire space but they were also very expensive so I thought let me just wait and before I invest in these and let me figure out my kitchen and then decide on those so for now I have just the plain cabinets the first corner cabinet uh, I have stored things in baskets so that uh, to access the things further deep inside I can remove one basket and pull the other basket out here I keep uh, some of my baking ingredients and miscellaneous things like silicone ice cube trays uh, spoons and things like that I'm utilizing the door space again here by hanging the straight colanders and my measuring cups to the similar command hooks that I showed earlier. Moving on, it's another cupboard with a door but inside instead of just uh, ledges I had asked for drawers. In the first drawer I keep most of our steel katoris and steel boxes and their lids. Uh, in the next one I keep my uh, smaller rice cooker bowls or glass bowls and uh, the utensils that we use for heating milk or water, the large ones that are stacked one inside the other. And finally at the bottom is the smallest cooker and some of the idli uh, plates that we use very often. These are like very commonly used uh, utensils so they, that's why they, how they sit in here. Beside that is my cabinet which is under the sink. Uh, under the sink I have my RO unit installed. I went for 3M RO water filtration system particularly because of the size and how sleek it is. And also the guy who was selling it to me told me that uh, 3M has a unique filtration system that doesn't uh, take away all the minerals from the water like the other filtration systems do. Now I don't know how far that is advantageous and true and effective but I fell for it mainly because it was uh, taking very less space and as a result I could also fit in this uh, bin, this dustbin into it. The dustbin is again a fitting from the modular kitchen guys and it, uh, when you pull the door it opens and when you push it back inside it closes and the lid falls back on it to avoid any smells to go into the cabinet. Uh, but we do make sure that we only use this basket for dry waste. Moving on is the next corner, the corner space which is again a dead space so starting from the door I've utilized the door space to hang my emulsion blender so I've covered most of the appliances in part two of the kitchen but since this is inside I did not speak about it this emulsion blender is from Panasonic and I got it a few years ago off Amazon and it comes with several attachments uh, my main purpose was to have an emulsion blender but it also comes with a whisk and uh, another little um, jar where you can use it to chop vegetables. I've, To be honest, I've never used the jar to chop vegetables because I just think it's another utensil to wash and maintain. But I do use the whisk quite often. I do not have any other electronic hand whisk. So for my desserts, when I want to whip up the eggs or cream, I do use this. But if you're into dessert making and you really want an appliance that is easy, then I recommend you take an actual electric hand whisk when compared to this because this is primarily an emulsion blender it's also a little difficult to hold it and press the button down and use it so it's been great for me for my purpose which is mainly uh, blending uh, and grinding the gravies when I'm making instead of waiting for the whole pot to cool and then put it in the mixer and grind it I can just uh, grind my gravy pastes within inside the kadhai itself which is a great time saver so I, it came with a little mount, so I, I went ahead and uh, drilled holes and put it in, in there. So inside the shelves, I store my trays, baking sheet, and I've used like a vertical plate stand to keep these clutter free. On top, I've kept a cutlery tray, which I think I picked up from Ikea, which is quite cheap. I use it to keep the cutlery which I don't use very often like the ice cream scoop, tin can opener and things like that which completely do not require to clutter my actual cutlery drawer. This is uh, a deep drawer and I use this to keep all the mixer jars or uh, some other miscellaneous stuff like steel glasses and things like that. This is right below the place where I have the actual mixer so it's again very easy to access the jars and above that is just to break 
break the entire monotony from the, all of the grey cabinets is this wooden groove where I have a wicker basket and I spoke about it in my first video. So that was the overall layout of the insides of my kitchen cabinets and how I utilized the space. I hope you liked it and I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can utilize your spaces. Do leave your comments uh, and thoughts in the comment section below and like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay connected and uh, have a wonderful day.